Hi, I'm Zach Quintana, Agco Product Specialist in the Northwest United States. I want to take a little time this afternoon to go through the Challenger MT700 E Series tractor, talk about some of the features on this tractor, and what sets it apart from its competition. The MT700 E lineup includes three model tractors the MT755 E, MT765 E, and MT775 E. These tractors range from 355 horsepower to 405 horsepower on the engine. The package gives us extreme flexibility because we can ballast all the way up to 39,000 pounds. So producers will be able to use this tractor for tillage, seeding, possibly on a baler, or certainly on a grain cart when it comes to fall harvest. An important thing to note about this tractor is the fact that it's designed from the ground up to be a twin track machine. So balance is exactly where we want it without having to hang a bunch of weights to get the balance point where we need to be, whether it's with a three-point implement or a drawbar pulled implement. At the heart of the MT700 E Series tractor is the Agco Power 9.8 liter seven cylinder engine. We've had this engine in these tractors now for a couple years and it's built a great reputation for itself. One of the first things producers notice is the extremely efficient engine. So very low fuel use compared to competitive machines. Also, producers will notice the high flat torque curve and the lugging ability that this tractor has. What that means for you as an operator is, as you pull through those tough spots in the ground or you start to climb a hill, you're gonna have the, the ability to lug that tractor down without having to shift down and lose ground speed to get through the tough spots. So that's an extremely important piece to a tractor that's designed to pull. Another important talking point for the MT700 E series is how we get to tier four final emissions. We do it differently than almost all of our competitors. The key takeaway here is there's no diesel particulate filter in this tractor anywhere. No DPF means no regen cycle as you're running through the field, which for the operator means no excess heat coming out of the exhaust system or out of this tractor, and also no excess fuel burn to get that heat. Also, no diesel particulate filter means no extra filter in the system that's gonna fail one day costing you extra money to replace. So how do we get to tier four final emissions? One way is we do it with an SCR system which uses DEF fluid. Even that we do differently than competitors. The key takeaway here is we dose at a variable rate based on load, not at a fixed rate based on RPMs. So we come away with a very fluid efficient tractor because DEF is only dosed as needed and there's no diesel particulate filter that's gonna push fuel bills up and it's going to eventually fail. While we're up here at the engine compartment on the MT700 E Series, it's a good time to bring up serviceability. That's something that many operators are very concerned with. The first thing to point out right here is the large single piece hood that raises up clear out of the way. You can access all of your major components with only one raising of the hood. The other thing to point out here is the way we've designed the engine compartment itself. This side of the engine is the cool side of the engine, which is where all of your main service points are located. So for instance, oil level check is right here within easy reach of the ladder as you climb in each morning. There's nothing on the other side or the hot side of the engine that an operator needs to be concerned with from a serviceability standpoint. Other things to point out would be up here on the air cleaner. There's a Venturi type system on the pre-cleaner that helps clean large pieces of debris out before they actually make it into the dual stage air filters. Other things to point out are the, the dual stack uh, radiator right here. It's very easy to blow out. So each morning or whenever, if you need to blow that radiator out, it's very easy to access this to keep air pulled through and into the engine. Another key thing to point out is this tractor only has grease zerks on the rear three point if the tractor is equipped with it. There's nothing else on this tractor that's going to require grease input from an operator. Earlier we talked about the ability of the Agco power engine to pull through tough spots without lugging down, without the operator having to shift the transmission down to make it through that spot. The question now becomes, how do we get the power from the engine to the ground? That's a two-step process, the first being the transmission. So the MT700 E series runs a Caterpillar power shift transmission that gives the operator 16 forward gears and full reverse. They can select the gear they want right from the operator seat so they can dial in speed to their needs with a click of a button. It's very user friendly. Another important piece of this is how efficient we transfer power from the engine through that transmission. There's no drop boxes on this tractor. We're not pushing power through an imitation CVT tractor that has quite a bit of power loss from the time the, engine, the power leaves the engine. It makes it to the rear end and to the ground. So a power shift is very efficient in power transflow. 
transfer through the machine. That's a key message right here is how easily we put the power through the machine into the tracks. Next up would be the tracks themselves. They're the ones that are actually putting the power to the ground. So it's important to note the MT700 E-Series is a twin track machine with a lot of rubber contract on the ground. When we start looking at our tracks, the key things we want to point out is how well we can grip the ground with them, but also how well we ride with our track system. So first off, put power to the track through the large drive wheel right here. So there's a lot of friction area in this drive wheel to help put power into the track without slipping. Next up, we want to look at our semi-suspended mid wheels. You look at competitive machines where mid wheels are fixed, you start going over bumps, the whole machine has to bounce to go over the bump. With these semi-suspended mid wheels, we can go across a bump, the mid wheels have give, and you get a much smoother ride as the operator. That's a key takeaway. Next up, you look at the hard bar that the tracks mount on. Other machines, that hard bar is on a fixed frame location uh, or with very little suspension in it. Our hard bar is mounted to the frame with the use of marshmallow springs. That gives the hard bar the ability to oscillate as you go across a ditch or as you go across the field. So you get suspension in that area as well. It takes a lot of the vibration out of this machine before it actually gets up to the operator. Other important things to look at on our tracks would be uh, gauge spacings that we offer. So from the factory we offer a standard gauge, we offer a wide gauge, and we ultra offer an ultra wide. That gives the producer the choice between from 72 inch track width all the way up to 160 track width depending on what the tractor was ordered with. This tractor for example is a wide gauge tractor and it gets us the ability to go between 80 inches and 120 inch track width with infinite adjustment. There's no fixed adjustment say in two inch spacings as you go out each side of the tractor it's infinite so we can set it to whatever you need. Another thing to point out on our tractor is track options. We offer tracks from 14 inches all the way up to 34 inches. Uh, but not only do we offer different sizes, we offer different track makeups. First off would be a general ag track. That general ag track is fine for most agriculture applications. You get plenty of grip, you can shed mud just fine. Uh, when you come up into, say, hill country where you operate on extremely steep hills, or you get into rock country where you have the chance that you'll puncture a track, we go to, or we offer what we call an extreme application track. When you go to that track, you get a taller tread block, you get a wider tread block, you also get a much bigger guide block in the track, so that resists some of the, the hillside movement. Also, the carcass of the track is a little bit more robust with material in the track to help reduce puncture, uh, or the chance of puncture. That's an extreme app. We also have an extreme ag track. We get you the agriculture tread block, but it gets you the extreme app carcass with the reinforcement in it, and it also gets you the bigger guide blocks for hillsides. Uh, also, the extreme ag and extreme app tracks are very good and very resistant to road wear if an operator is roading a lot. So keep in mind the different track options when you're talking to a producer. Final takeaways on the track system itself is guys that are running fertilizer tanks, we have built-in accessory mounting points on each of the tracks that you can mount tanks to. Uh, we give the ability to to hang weights on the track, so as far as ballasting, if we need to move the center of balance on the tractor, you can hang weights on the uh, track carriage itself, but also up on the idler wheels. Also standard equipment is the ability to tension tracks. It's not an additional kit that we have to add on or order from our dealer. It's something that you get the ability uh, right from the factory to tension your tracks up, and that's done hydraulically. So key takeaways on the MT700 E series, the transmission is extremely efficient, the ride is extremely smooth, so make sure and put a guy in the seat and let him give it a try. So here we are in the cab of the MT700 E Series tractor. This is where the operator is going to spend the majority of his time, so we want to make sure that the cab is set up comfortably so that they can spend a long day in here without fatigue. One of the first things you'll notice when you get in the cab is the visibility. The cab is designed as a four post cab, so we only have four main posts in the cab, so visibility is very clear as you look 360 degrees around the machine. Also, as I mentioned very early on, this tractor was designed from the ground up as a track machine. So the nose, slope, and size of it is all proportionally shaped to what it should be for a twin track machine. So you don't have a whole lot of hood sticking out that you can't see over. You can see down in front of the tracks very clearly. You can see out the right front corner post very clearly because of all of our emissions components are down low in the stack. Um, also, visibility out the back to the hitch is very clean and clear. Also in the cab, you'll notice I'm in an air ride seat. 
This is standard equipment. You have either a cloth or a leather option depending on how the tractor is specced. All of your main controls are under your right hand armrest. So your gear selection, uh, your plus and your minus buttons are here under your thumb. Your direction, your forward, reverse, neutral, and park is all right here under your fist. Hydraulic controls are electronic fingertip controls uh, right here at the very front edge. Might be hard to see in the video, but standard equipment is a tractor management center or ISO bus monitor where all of your tractor controls are handled. Uh, in here you can set hydraulic flows, you can set uh, power management functions, um, there's headland functions, there's quite a few functions to the terminal that you can control. In the event that you hook up an ISO bus implement, plug it into the rear of the machine, it'll pull it all up through this tractor management center. Another important piece about the tractor management center and the way this tractor is designed, all of your controls are electro over hydraulic. That means we can integrate AutoGuide seamlessly into the tractor, so it's almost plug and play. Um, from the top dock, plug it in, it pulls up right here through the C1000, and then electrically it controls the tracks to maintain the lines that you set. Other key things to point out about the cab are lighting packages, so standard lights are halogen. We have HID upgrades if you go to the deluxe cab. We also have LED upgrades, so if a producer wanted to choose that at order entry, uh, we do have an LED upgrade. So lighting packages, a lot of flexibility there. Single spoke steering wheel, and on the steering wheel here, you can't see it in the, in the video there, but we have volume controls, we have a seek, uh, we have all of your controls for your radio right here in the steering wheel. So going down the field, you can control the radio very easily. So here we are at the back of the MT700E series tractor. This is where the work gets done. This is where we want to make sure we have the flexibility to hook onto a wide range of implements so that we can go on to pretty much any farm with our tractor. So the things we want to talk about back here are the drawbar, the PTO, the three-point hitch, and the hydraulics. So to start with, this tractor, base equipment's a Cat 4, narrow swing drawbar with a three-point hitch. So you can see this tractor is set up with a wide swing Cat 4 drawbar and no three-point hitch, which is an ordering option. So if you know a producer is not going to be running this three-point hitch, then you can select to deduct that and you have a very clean rear end of the tractor that makes it very easy to hook onto. The Cat 4 pin, we do have a Cat 4 to a Cat 3 reducer so that we can hook onto smaller implements if needed. Next up would be your PTO. All MT700Es are equipped with a PTO. It's a thousand PTO speed and it's the large 20 spline shaft. So say in the fall you want to hook onto a grain cart, you already set up with your PTO to run that PTO powered grain cart. Next up would be hydraulics on the tractor. This is a very important piece on many modern farming operations. Hydraulic flow is a big deal. Standard equipment on this tractor is 58 gallons a minute of flow. It's a single pump system. And that's a lot of flow. That's pretty much where our competitors are at on a similar size tractor. We offer an 85 gallon per minute twin pump system if producers need additional hydraulic flow, say to power a large air drill, where you have a fan running, you have down pressure, you need a lot of hydraulic flow. That's where you can opt up to the bigger pump or twin pump system. Okay, we can push flow through up to six remotes. You see this tractor set up with four, which is base. Uh, so this might be a really nice uh, tillage tractor because it does have the smaller pump in it. Um, but say you go to the twin flow pump system, you can spec it up to six fingertip control valves. You can put timers on them. You can change flow rates all from inside the cab. So you get a lot of flexibility hydraulically. Also, we're set up with power beyond and case drains. So again, where you're running the big uh, hydraulic driven motors, we have all the flow and the drains necessary to run those properly without damaging the motors. Finally would be your three-point hitch. If this tractor were equipped with a three-point hitch, it would also come standard with a quick hitch, which makes it very easy to hook on to three-point implements and to unhook from them. A uh, three-point hitch would include fingertip controls on the fender, so it makes it easy to hook and unhook an implement. And then also you get a nitrogen accumulator in the system so that when you're going down the road with that three-point implement raised, it's basically a shock absorber to take some of the shock out as you go across bumps, making it much smoother for the operator. So the rear of this tractor is set up very friendly uh, for a wide range of implements. And if you spec it up to the bigger 85 gallon per minute flow twin pump system, we have hydraulic flow unmatched by competitors. So this tractor is extremely versatile and it can go from tillage to seeding to grain carting to balers to whatever you might want to get into. Now that we've gone through the MT700E tractor from front to rear, 
I'd like to thank you for your time and I'd encourage you to talk to your local dealer about what a Challenger MT700E tractor could do for you.